What we are saying is have a heart. We've got to be able to regenerate our economy. There'll be people who are kind, people who are cruel, but that's life. You can be bigger about I'm fine with that. And I would then want to make a further point that you see, in the kind of racial stereotyping we have in Singapore, and let's be honest, there's, there's profound racial stereotyping in Singapore. You think the, so as bad as in other countries? I thought that we were relatively free from racial prejudice. Ah, we do have, I yes. don't deny it. Okay, let me say that without any offence to you yourself, but you speak as a male from the uh, majority community. Uh, you know, and that makes no, a difference. No, I have to correct you. Yeah. I, my best friends mm. are Indians, yeah. and I actually don't have very good best friends who are Chinese. Right. So you have made an assumption that's also uh, incorrect. Yeah, uh, maybe so. But you are speaking from your own experience. You no, know. I'm speaking more from a gener generous spiritedness, because mm. I don't see... I've been to countries where there's racial prejudice, mm. and where I have felt very demeaned, mm. and I walk around Singapore, mm. and I don't think our people are that belligerent ah, or yes, that aggressive. Yes, okay, good point. Yes, no, I'm not saying that we do it uh, is a matter of public policy. Why do you say the racism is a matter of public policy? Well, the, uh, uh, the, 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 um, the, the racially oriented self-help groups, the housing quotas, 25%, only 25% can be non-Chinese, uh, the SAP school system, the... Uh, Still very much yeah, the case, yeah. It's is correct. It's just that perhaps some of us may be sensitive towards using the phrase or, or the descriptor racism. Or, mm. or, yeah. But, I mean, some of us will, will be a, a little more clinical in the sense that they are race-based policies. Okay. You know, but, but he, he's alluding to, to something that's structural yeah. in the system. No, I would go further than that, Alan. It's not just race-based. It's racist-based. In, in terms of governing, mm. how different is it in other countries, in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in Thailand, I, I think isn't I think it also the majority who tries to ensure yes. that there's? A I mean, this, this this is the sad but brutal reality of politics across Southeast Asia. You know, we're still uh, no more than six decades post independence. Southeast Asia? How about in other countries, Australia and other Western countries? Yes, and I think this is part and parcel of of this this whole problem of the the politics of the globalization of human mobility. Because you get people who are not traditional, what they call, fl part of the traditional and historical flows of migrants to a particular place. And then you get upset because, uh, you know, in, in my own lectures, for instance, when I have to, to touch on this subject, I call it the problem of inner globalization. Uh, if, let's say, all these migrants are all white collar workers, you expect them to conform to a certain standard of behavior. You know, you don't disturb the peace, you don't have picnics, uh, you know, in, in so-called common spaces and so on and so forth. You have them in your homes. But, you know, if you have, let's say, people with these uh, particular ways of celebrating a Sunday in your midst, then, you know, you might get worked up. Especially if you've grown used to a quiet neighborhood, for example, Serangoon Gardens. But how much of this are we racially colouring the matter? Because I remember when they wanted to introduce uh, senior citizens to live among the, the HDB estates, there was also a lot of objection, and that wasn't racially based. I think that people just don't like their, their comfort level to be disturbed. That people don't want to be bothered. Mm. Well, they actually, want peace. yes. No, I think um, uh, the, the issue is not so much peace, as uh, uh, Alan suggested. It's to do with uh, property values. <laughs> the the, the Strangon Garden yeah. people were very clear. We didn't want these yeah. nasty migrants here because it was low. It would lower property values. Same with the Bukit Bat, uh, no, the to, uh, Toyi uh, uh, Elder Center. Mm -hmm. They were very clear as well. It will lower our property values. We we can sort of mm -hmm. we can to a certain extent dismiss the idea of racism and look at it more as classism, because I think that that's where really where it, where it is. We have migrant workers of lots of different colors and nationalities. And I think that they're all pretty much discriminated against and looked down upon. And mm. so many people will say, I'm not racist. I don't like the Chinese workers as much as the other workers. Mm. So as if that's a, a pride, a, a, a badge of honor. So I think that what Singaporeans don't like, of course they don't like their peace to be disrupted, but they don't like too many of anybody. And especially too many of the kind of people who seem to be of a lower class than them. And that's the way they, they look at the Bangladeshi workers, the Indian workers, the China workers, the Thais, um, less so the Malaysians. 
but what you say, you're suggesting that uh, there is a class distinction. It's a class distinction. But I think that there's also some degree of unhappiness when you go to the, in the banking sector, to the upper levels, when a lot of uh, immigrant workers who are highly qualified mm. tend to take jobs off uh, the locals. And that that's true, is that's not true. class. So, it so is just I mean, territoriality. It is being threatened. It's feeling that something is being taken away from you. Yeah. So from the very rich, what they're taking away is high paying jobs. And from the very poor, the, the lowly paid workers, what they're taking away is space and a sense of, of uh, safety and serenity. Mm. These are stresses mm. which we have to deal with as a developed country. Yeah.